becomes a problem. The more you can save humanity, save people, save, especially the people of God, save them. The more you do that, you may not even have an enter into office where God has called you. You may not have even entered what God has called you. When God called Moses, at any age Moses knew he was called by God. Right? But what was he doing? He was simply an army general. And the woman says one time, if the calling was starting to manifest to Moses. How did he feel with it? What did he do? He went and fought for his brothers and killed one with his anger. So he used the weapons of war to do God's call. And the Bible says he ran away and went into a desert where he became a shepherd boy. God allowed him to be a shepherd boy for 40 years. He stayed there serving his father in law. Because when he was a general, he had to unlearn the weapons of war. Because just imagine, if God was going to take him and put him to, to the ministry, he was going to what? He was going to what would happen to the children of Israel when they disobeyed him? <laughs> what would happen to them? He was going to kill every man. Hallelujah. So he had to kill the heart of, God, of a shepherd. So he, he stayed there for 40 years until he was ready. Because now, my brother, you are ready, let's go. That is why he was merciful. He became what he called the meekest man on the surface of the earth. He was not like that before. If you defend, the, the, if, if you was going to be annoyed by the children of Israel, he was going to deal with them very fast. But God wanted him to what? To be merciful. We can talk about all the men who were used by God. They were in a general way serving humanity. During the GDP, the subject of thought where about a woman who was just serving a prophet then. He was just doing the general work. He never wanted anything. He was just doing the work of humanity. When God sees you doing that, that is where he pick. He cannot pick from those who are looking for calling. No, God has called me. No, he cannot pick. He picked those who are solving issues of general issues. Those who are uh, dealing. He may be someone who is an usher. Oh, welcome, listen. Welcome, woman. He, he may be that particular person. He locates them. If it is somebody who has been in the car park, he's not even in the church, parking cars, he's solving the issues of men. And then someone who's likely, he's just doing charity, take care of, 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 of the poor. one. And he's got sins at heart, he sees that for a greater work, he sees like such. When you read even the revival history, you find out even some people who are just businessmen, whom God used for revival. They were just interfering years who love God with all their hearts. Who push the gospel. When the time of uh, the mighty move of God, God picked them and said, This one, I want to use. So, what to be used by God? The first way God is involved in our business, in helping humanity, in, in solving people's problems. So, that is the reason I tell you, even if a pastor, as minister of God, the advisor always tell them, Don't look for money from the church. Even if the church can give you money. But don't focus on it. Focus on serving God in those little things that you're doing. It's going to give you even a vision, even an idea how you're going to get money. Are you with me? And the money you're going to hold is going to be too much. And I promise you, you are the one we want to get to. I hope it's you. As long as you don't, it's like those who are working, some of the Lord of you are working, right? You're going to lose savings in that. You got to focus on what, whatever you do, do it as if you are doing it for the Lord. If you want God to reward you. Amen. But if, no, if, no, those of you are complaining, hey, hey, my Hey, say it as if you are serving the Lord. Do it for God. Do it for God. Okay, you are doing it for the name of Jesus. How can we complain in the name of Jesus? How can we name of Jesus? But are you calling the Lord again? You call. What is this? Do it for Jesus' sake. You will see. Money will come, if you come to the platform, wonderful. But God can bring money in any direction. As as we tell you, we do, we are loaded now. We are loaded in different directions. Yeah, so when you are loaded in different directions, they are still going to be pointing you as a pastor. No, Iman Tazara, Iman Tazara. Ah, eh, eh. 
I'm telling you what I mean. What you need to do? Set them with distinction. Black them with distinction. Even that one. That particular one. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Keep on loving them. Whether whoever is a criminal, is a thief, is a robber, whatever, keep on loving them. Amen. God will look at you. You have money without sweat. We have to teach you to We spend it free. So now, why am I going to buy it free? Why? You know, God, I call it free. You will enjoy it. And it will keep on flowing. So I don't want to have a now. I declare it is a testimony in Jesus' name. I'm saying it is a testimony in Jesus' name. And they don't know. 
devil is, is allowed, they can't see me. He's the one who asks those questions in their ears. What do you
very painful. <laughs> should we all understand or should we interpret? Same thing. Send it as send. Send it as. Alright, can you pick up my place? Was that good or was that good? If it's pure, I'm doing it in speed. I want to speed. <laughs> okay, we we'll use an interpreter so we can understand. Do you have all of your Bibles? If you don't have a Bible, we've got, we've got a Bible here. And he himself, Jesus, Jesus, he gave some to the apostles, some prophets, some evangelists. It means in different places, to a certain place, maybe, let's say maybe in Winnipeg, he gives someone, uh, some people a prophet, to some places he gives. An apostle. Yeah, but it's not the same thing. Yeah, but it's not the same thing. Okay, 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 yeah, but it's not Where's the reason now? You can give them a pastor. I'm a To some places. Where's the reason now? You can give them an apostle. I'm a bandy To some places. Where's the reason now? You can give them a prophet. I'm a bandy prophet. It depends. Yet later on God. But he did not give them a prophet so they can become a prophet. I got a nigga who prophet who did not be a prophet. He did not give them an apostle so that they can be apostolic. He did not give them prophets so they can be prophetic. He did not give them a pastor so they can be pastoral. He did not give them teachers so they can be teachers. No. He gave them these ministries. this is the call to the people. Go to the soul. For the equipping of the saints, meaning the development, for the equipping. This is not so hard. You know, even the word equipping, the down of work, is not right, it's not the right thing. Because Christians are equipped already. They've been given everything. But the right word is effective. Because equipping, when we read the word of God, the word says all things are ours. So it means we are fully equipped. That's what I was speaking to say, oh, we are completing him. We don't make anything. 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 You get what I'm saying to you. So that's why I'm saying that when you keep in the NKJV, it's not well placed. What you find? Equipping of the saints for the work of ministry. This is that to so work of us. For the edifying of the body of Christ. For the edifying of the body of Christ. What's the thing? Till we all come into the unity. Look at this one. Till we all, all of us, all of us. Which is so okay. Say never, including you. Into my general division. So all of us. So including you. Till we all come into the unity of the faith and of the. Knowledge of the Son of God. All of us to come into the level of the faith of Jesus. And to the knowledge of the Son of God. What is the Son of God? Nothing in the Son of God. So you can come into the knowledge of the Son of God. To so a perfect man. So you can a perfect man. To a perfect man. To the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. You know what is explaining there? He's explaining what is the Son of God. What is the Son of God? 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 The word fullness means completion. Completeness, nothing missing. That is supposed to be there, must be there. 
Uh, he is a
Sana perfect man and God junior. You may say, oh, I don't go, go to Psalm 82, Psalm 82 verse 5. And of course, the father of the son will show you all things. The father will tell you that you take over your kingdom. And he himself does. Your kingdom is a man. And the father is right to some extent under the subject that you have. So, the father is right to some extent under the subject that you have. You are not going back from heaven. As that you have to go to the subject that you have. Are you lacking something in him? No. You are what you're completing him. 